Today we are reviewing a report that focuses in on the customer, customer insight. Trying to discover all we need to know about the customer to service them more effectively and to become more profitable post that. The report we've devised here is based on a company that sells throughout the European region. And the technique that we have used throughout the report is to segment the clients into where the bulk of our revenue comes from. So our top clients compared to our mid clients or our lower clients, our lower margin clients. Here we have a summary of where our sales are occurring and in which regions we can flip through or slice on different timeframes historical or recent, we can see the channel which we are selling through. And here we can actually dive into just our top clients. So where is the bulk of revenue coming from for the entire business? We can then see our top countries by sales for those particular top clients, and then a range of key metrics. Here we are able to drill into our client sales, specific client sales and compare it to historic sales. In this case, we are looking at our cumulative sales over the time frame we have selected, comparing that time frame sales versus historic time frame sales. And what's really great is it's dynamic and we can look at any particular client that we sell to and we can see are they behind or above budget and why is that? And, and be able to ask questions as to why that may be the case. We can see the products they have bought and then the time horizon of our profitability of that client. So what's great is we can flip between different horizons and say this is the cumulative total of sales over quarter two and quarter three of 2016 and that is showing versus last year's quarter two and quarter three. So we can really drill into the performance of each customer and then consequently say uh, look at our sales force and how we are regionally performing. Here we are drilling into our client groups. So in this case, we want to look at our top customers. So you can actually, within this report, uh, have that unfiltered and look at the entire client base, but we want to focus in on our top clients in this instance. So by filtering or slicing on top clients, this then filters into the bulk of where our revenue sits. 65 to 70% of our revenue comes from our top clients in this case. We can select the time frame we want to look at and then quickly see, okay, who are our top clients? Which countries are our top clients from? Which products are they buying? All, all ranked uh, in descending order. And then where these sales are occurring. Also, we can drill into a client and see the profit differentials between all the products they're buying. So we can really ask why are some of these products, why is there different margins to this client over different products? Maybe there'd be a logical reason for that, maybe not. These are just some questions that we can really dive into and understand in a very dynamic way. We can also compare between different clients if we want to as well. Now, why are some clients obtaining larger margin? Why are we obtaining more margin from some clients versus another on the exact same product. Here we can also look at each individual transaction that the client actually makes or grouping of clients if we want to multi-select clients. This can also be exported. So say for instance, you have a high level of transactions. This is a great way just to filter down into the key transactions that you might want to highlight to a sales team or on a sales meeting. In this page of the report, we are able to again look at things through time. So looking at what a client has bought in a particular time frame versus what they did last year in the same similar period last year. But in, in this case, we're drilling into the products. So which products was were bought this year versus last year, we can find any of our key clients and see why and ask why have we why have they bought so much more this year than they have last year and if that was flipped and they bought way more last year 
than what they have brought this year, then we should really be focusing in or communicating with the client or understanding what the client is, is, is up to and what they're doing. Are they finding product elsewhere? Have they gone to a competitor? Have they moved on to a different line of business? Have they discontinued selling that, on selling that product or utilizing that product? So there's a variety of different conversations that you can have on the back of this information. And we can dynamically look at any client. So it's incredibly intuitive to find out where our sales are coming from now, but also compare those to any historical time frame and understand why those trends are emerging in, in the data or, or in our sales.